Well, hey guys, I'm Natalie. This is Hey, It's a Good Life, and I'm so glad you're here because today I'm responding to a really fun tag called a new skill for a new year. So today's video is a response to a tag, a new skill for a new year, and it was started by, hey, stop, don't do that to the carpet. And this tag was started by my friend Kaylee over at the farm on Quail Hollow. So for the full playlist, you can go to her site and I'm sure she's got a playlist all set up. I was tagged by my friend Jess over at Roots and Refuge Farm. In fact, she kind of just opened it up to anybody who wanted to participate because it's like the end of January. So we should kind of just all declare what our new skill is for the new year at this point anyway, but whatever, it's January. It's the beginning of the year still, right? So. I'm not too late on this trend, hopefully. Hopefully not too late. But I'm really excited to share this with you guys today because this is an area where I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I feel very convicted that I am supposed to share this part of my journey with you guys. And I think in general, I feel called to just be authentic and keep it real with you guys and document the journey from learning to grow food to becoming proficient and maybe even a professional at growing food one day. And it all started right here in our first apartment on the patio with about a hundred square feet and just a little bit of space to learn some new skills. So, so what is this new skill, this new journey that I'm starting on that I'm sharing with you guys? I've shared a little bit, a little bit about this, just a little bit. And the new skill is learning. Let me first just preface this with, I have not been playing guitar very long. Never really learned how to keep a rhythm or like learn a strum pattern. And I've certainly never been able to sing and play guitar at the same time. But since my husband got this guitar fix for Christmas, I have been practicing a lot more. This is actually my dad's guitar. Um, and my dad passed away from cancer about five years ago. So to be able to learn to play guitar on my dad's guitar is like, such a blessing. So I'm very grateful to my husband for creating such a beautiful and meaningful Christmas gift. So thank you, Tommy. I love you. I'm going to play a little song for you guys that I first heard at Bethel and it is called The Climb. Now, why am I playing this song for you guys? This week has been an insane week. God has pushed my husband and I outside of our comfort zone so hard, not so hard, actually very gently, but we are very much out of our comfort zone in taking steps towards our future. Some really crazy things have happened in the last 24 hours, which again, I can't share yet. So I'm really sorry, but I want to share so badly and I can't wait to share when the time is right. Um, it's amazing what will happen when you slow down and when you listen. Things could be born out of that that really push you outside of your comfort zone. You know that you need to go and you know that you need to go do that thing. And so you go. Uh, and so this is a song that I've been singing to remind myself that I'm not going alone, that I can trust my God, that I can trust myself and my intuition and my husband and his intuition. And that no matter what it is, no matter what dream, no matter what project or goal, I don't wanna do it alone because my plans on my own will really don't work out that great. Like they really don't. But when I surrender them and I listen and I slow down and I get in tune and I get spiritual and I talk to Jesus about it, things really shift in my life and they shift in huge ways. It's both and I trust and yet my human nature is fearful. It's so hard. It's so hard, but he gives us a peace that surpasses all understanding. And I'm just speaking that over myself and singing this song. So without further ado, I give you the climb. Now I'm gonna play this without a pick because if I play it with a pick, I feel like it's gonna be really loud and you probably won't be able to hear the words, which means you're gonna hear me sing. Oh my gosh, yay. <clears throat> Sing that part four times. <clears throat> I'm not gonna sing it four times. Uh, let's go to the chorus. I give it all to you, God, trusting that you'll make something beautiful out of 
take they're very ready to go outside thank you so much for being here I'm honored by your presence hopefully I get better at this whole guitar thing but thank you for being here I hope this message blesses you don't be afraid to slow down don't be afraid to dream big don't be afraid to work hard and slow down and dream big if you guys have a dream that you're working towards, I would love to hear that. If you've got a new skill that you're working on, I would love to hear that as well. And last but not least, there's something I've been meaning to share with you for a little while now, and I want to invite you guys into this. If you guys have a prayer request, I want to know about it. And we actually have a little bit of a... Right as I'm filming this video, my next video supplies just came in. You guys have got to see this mail call. It's gonna be off the chain. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Back to the outro of this video. I wanna encourage you that you can dream big. I don't know about you, but sometimes I think that we allow ourselves to dream small because we're scared. And last year was a year of God calling me out. Do not fear, I'm with you. You need to own your dreams. And don't worry about what people are gonna think because they're not gonna understand, but I understand. And that's all you need. So if there is a big dream that you've let go of, like I did, I let go of my dream of running a ranch to heal land animals and people. And I thought, oh yeah, whatever, that was just a thought. But no, like when I genuinely ask myself, what do I want to do with my life? That is what I want to do with my life. So I had to let go of the fear. I didn't want to partner with fear. I wanted to partner with myself and with God. And so maybe there's a big dream that you have stopped dreaming about. Maybe there's a big dream that you do dream about, but you feel like you are never gonna get there. Break it into chunks, break it into seasons, then break it into months, then break it into weeks, then break it into days. Slowly but surely, if you just stay consistent with something, you will see amazing results from that. And maybe you don't end up where you thought you were gonna end up. Maybe you end up somewhere else. Maybe the dream changes and it grows into something way more beautiful than you could have ever thought or imagined. Leave your dream in the comment down below because we wanna hear it. And lastly, if you want prayer for whatever, for your dream, for a hardship that you're going through, whatever it may be, I want to invite you to send that prayer request to me. You can message me via Instagram. Again, if you want prayer, we've got a little prayer wall going. I've been praying for some of you YouTube homesteaders like Rose and her thyroid issues and Autumn, who I think is doing a lot better now, the little baby goat. Um, and some, some of you other guys out there who have asked for prayer, you're on our prayer wall. So if you want prayer, shoot me a message or leave it in the comment down below if you're comfortable with that. I would love to hear. Also, I'm gonna start adding bloopers to the end of my videos. So if you guys wanna see some funny outtakes, <laughs> Definitely stick around. Okay, bye. <laughs>